Sister Joanne, Sister Alma, tama ba ako? Jasmine. Ah, Jasmine, sorry. Okay. Ayan, then we have Grace. Ang pamangkit po ni Pastor Regina, Brother June. Kawai-kawai naman dyan, ganda. Ayan, we have Shira, tama ba ako? Ayan. We have Hannah. And we have John Ray. Taas naman yun, Pogi. Ayan, yun may Pogi sa taas. Si John Ray po ay anak ni Sister Viron. Pogi daw. Ayan, palapan naman natin siya. Sa Lord, sa kanyang buhay. Ayan, uh, sila pang hindi ko na welcome. Welcome everyone. Oh yeah, Tatay Mario. Ah, si Nanay, si Mama Lu. Ayan. We have Mama Lu here. Ayan, mother of sister uh, Mel Torres Bellic. Wow, praise God. Are you excited today? Yes. Kala ko hindi na matatapos. Just an exciting uh, part. Wow. Uh, I'm not going to sit down. <laughs> Ayan. So there are kids who will come here and will be prayed for and they will go to the uh, children's hall. May I call on the children? Please come here. We're going to pray for you guys. Shiloh, Jairus, Shan, Shan, Jumong, Jim, Jimong. But those kids who are 10 years above should just hear it. Will, they will just stay here. Okay? Jairus is here. Yung mga 10 pataas. Ayan. Dito, do, dito lang kayo sa hall. The rest will go. Okay. Shall we stretch forth our hands to this beautiful and handsome uh, uh, gifts of the Lord to their parents? Hallelujah. Sabay-sabay po tayo magdeklara ng pagpapala sa kanilang mga buhay. One, two, three, declare. Come on, people. I, I, I want to hear declarations. Wala akong naririnig. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, naririnig mo yung declarations ng bawat isa. You hear the declarations, the prayers of your people for these children, O Lord. I pray, Father, let there be manifestations of the good things that you promised them. Thank you so much, God, for the precious, for the uh, magnificent promises, O God, that you are going to pour out, pour out to them, O Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, these, these kids, God, they will grow with knowledge from you, with wisdom from you, with the fear of the Lord, O oh God, and no works of the enemy will prosper against their lives. You cover them with the blood of Jesus, O oh God, and Lord, they will not be the tail, but they will be heads. In Jesus' mighty name, you will promote even not only them, but also their parents. You will bless their, their kabuhayan, Panginoon, their livelihood in Jesus' mighty name. You will supply all their needs according to God's riches of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, even as they stay in the um, 
Sunday school room. Bless all the teachers who will um, teach them, oh Lord God. Bless them with wisdom. And God, thank you for their protection. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may proceed there, guys. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tapos na po tayo sa ating anniversary. We are, uh, the church is now walking on the on its uh, 11th year. Praise God. Um, starting this week, this Sunday, this is our regular Sunday service venue. So we've been uh, to different places for several Sundays. It is because of our special events. And we had our comps, then we had the anniversary. And last week, we went to Edmonton. We celebrated with them. And Kals was, Kals was so awesome in that place. Grabe. And uh, this Sunday would be the last Sunday of this month. Amen? And by next Sunday, we are going to have um, Reverend Jean, Abad, and some um, J1 Winnipeg brethren. They will come here on August the 2nd. So, and uh, by the end of this month, uh, by the end of August, we are going to have our second family camp at uh, Camp Astotin in uh, Fort Saskatchewan, in Elk Island. So please book your, uh, book your day off. And then we are going to have another service. This, uh, we are going to have our National Leadership Camp in Winnipeg. So I'm just reminding you for that. And some of the and other announcements, they are just in the, ablay, uh, in the flame brochure. Do you have uh, the brochure? Raise your hands if you have the brochure. And if you don't have, and if there's some more, ask the asherets. And if you have the pen, you can write down the message of, for today. There is a space for that and for taking down notes. So anyways, shall we give the Lord a handful of clap once again? Can we do it better than that? For the glory of the King of Kings, for the glory of Jesus, the Anointed One, our Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Shall we say Luke chapter 4, verse 8 to 19, the Spirit of the Lord, because He has anointed me to preach the gospel of the poor, He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives and recover sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Our Lord is Jesus, the Anointed One. Amen. Last Saturday, I shared about be firmly established in Christ. Amen. And uh, we learned that we must continue to follow Him. We must. Um, be established in the uh, in the faith by being rooted and built up in Jesus. So our 10th anniversary theme focus on continuing Jesus' legacy. When we say legacy, it is the thing that you are going to left when you are when you are gone. Pamana. And Jesus, before he went up to the heaven, he told these things, this legacy. And my brothers and my sisters, J1 family of Fort McMurray, I want you to get this vision. J1 church will win more souls and make more disciples. This side would be only the youth. Amen. Amen. Hello. And this side would only for the youth. And this side will be for the youth. May papayag bang siya ay matanda? No. You are young looking guys. And I declare we're going to have our, our own youth service in this theater. Mahina yung mga youth eh. Woo! And there will be time at all men's conference. Wow. Wala yung mga lalaki. All men's conference. Amen. Ibig sabihin, wala yung mga kasamang babae. <laughs> and there will be women's conference. Yeah! Ang dami yung talagang, ingin yung talaga, babae nga kayo. 
Amen. You're really nice to your girls. Praise God. That's our vision. Next year, we are going to be doubled in numbers or tripled. Do you believe in that? Amen. That's why right. tell to the person next to you. Continue. Continue. Jesus' legacy. Jesus. And what's that legacy? What's that legacy? As I told you last Saturday, we are told about being followers of Jesus, being rooted, and being built on Jesus. And we need to understand that the Lord will not give us commands that will not be good for us. I am right. Hindi magbibigay ang Diyos ng isang utos na hindi makakabuti sa atin. Kaya binigay yan kasi it will be good to you. It will be good for us. And that's why God wants us to be rooted. You know what? We were amazed, those who attended uh, J.A. 1 Edmonton, we were amazed that their theme verse, though I, I had the invitation prior to that, I never, I didn't look at their um, theme verse about the Colossians chapter 2. And we're so glad that the message was proclaimed here before we came there. It must continue there. It's like, oh my Lord, it's really timely. The message is for us. Be rooted. So, sa katabi mo, be rooted. In Tagalog, mag-ugat ka. Hindi ko sinabing ugatan ka na. Amen. Be rooted. Yung mga ugatan dyan. Yung mga rooted. Ugatan sa Panginoon. Rooted in Christ. Rooted in His Word. Connected to Jesus. Because if we are not connected to Jesus, we will not grow. We will not bear fruit. Or else, if we are not rooted, we, are, we will be cut off. And when we are cut off, we are going to get dried and we will be burnt. Amen. I don't like that to happen to you. So, we need to follow Jesus' commands. And that is good to continue His legacy. And this time, this afternoon, we are going to talk about how important is your soul. How many of you here has soul? Kasi yung kamay has soul. Amen. Yung hindi, ano na lang yan. Okay. And do you know that the soul of the person whom you will meet in the, in the park, in the mall, in your school, in your workplaces, they are important. Amen. Amen. That's why I'm telling to the young people, especially the gentlemen, make sure if you're going to court that lady, you are sure that she will be the last. Why? If that gets hurt, maybe it gets offended. And remember, that girl is a soul. The same with you guys. Okay? That's why we need to be have good testimony because the person we will meet in the past, in the marketplace, they are souls and they are important. Say to the person next to you, your testimony should be good. Amen? Who is the representative of Jesus here? Yung iba? Lahat. Amen. So, how many of you like or know someone who likes to go to cafeteria or restaurant? Amen. Especially buffet. Amen. <laughs> so, usually, they have lots of food, right? Their best food, best fried chicken. So, these cafeteria places are popular today, those buffet, because of what? Why are they important? Why are they so popular? Because of variety, okay? Of huge selection of food for a reasonable price. And, however, it seems to me that there are too many cafeteria Christians today. Like, Pwede ba kinin makatabi mo? Is she or he a cafeteria Christian? Mukha ba yung chicken wings? <laughs> or mukha pork chop? Okay, looks like pork chop? Amen? Or he looks like mushroom? Or mashed potato? Okay. Who are those cafeteria Christians? What I mean is... Those Christians, they just pick and they just choose what they want to walk with God. Kung ano nila yung gusto nila, yun lang gagawin nila. 
They are selective on the Lord's commands. They will not do everything the Lord commands them. Instead, oh, this is good for me. This is convenient for me. I will follow this. This thing? Oh, no. Not my thing. So there are Christians who just pick and choose what they want to walk with God. They want the parts about heaven, about forgiveness, about abundant life, but they skip about the parts about being disciple of Jesus and taking up the cross as they follow the Lord. In Mark chapter 8, verse 34, it goes like this. Uh, and, and let's go first in Matthew chapter 28. Shall we read all together? Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely, I am with you always to the very end of the age. Shall we bow down our head again and let's pray. Father, we thank you for this uh, opportunity to share your word. We pray that this message be a message that would encourage and challenge your people in J14 memory. We pray, Father, that you anoint every single word that will be uttered by me as inspired by you. And I pray that every heart and faith will be stirred up so that we will know you more and we will really commit our lives in discipleship, in following you, in taking up our cross, in doing your perfect will, in being a servant of you. We thank you so much for you alone, the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. In Mark chapter 8, third, verse 34, it goes like this. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, what Jesus said? Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, take up the cross, and follow me. What are those three things Jesus said? If you want to be Jesus' disciples, how many of you here wants to be Jesus' disciple? We say disciple, disciple o tagasunod ni Jesus. Jesus follower. How many of you here wants to be Jesus' disciples? Amen. First, we no need to deny ourselves. What? I love myself. What should I deny myself? The second thing is, take up the cross. Do you have the cross? Yeah, I have the pendant. There's a cross. Oh yeah, my wife is my cross. It's heavy. 100 pounds. Just the legs. <laughs> I can't imagine that. <laughs> Praise God. And we need to follow Jesus. So, mga kapatid, we need to do those things. Deny ourselves, take up the cross, and follow Jesus for us to be called disciples of Jesus. But is it easy to be a disciple? No. It is not easy. Denying yourself is not easy. Denying yourself is not like this. Who are you? I don't know who am I. It's not like that. Amen? Taking up the cross is not put, um, you're going to have your wife on your back. Because she's your cross. Now, for us to do these three things, we need to be a disciple. Uh, for us to do these things, taking up the cross, denying ourselves, and following Jesus, we need first to develop a character of a disciple. We need to have a different status of your heart. Sino dito yung may mga puso? How many of you have heart? Sabi na sang text message, Buti pa ang saging, may puso. It's, okay, in English, <laughs> banana cue is on the stick. <laughs> no, it's okay. Almost, what? I can't understand. <laughs> no, banana has a heart, right? <laughs> Sorry, Ron. 
Sister Glow will translate it. Okay, sometimes my English is calm. <laughs> no, sorry. So the heart is important. Amen? Can you feel your heart? Don't say, can you feel the love tonight? Can I say, can you feel the heart? Can you feel your heart? Do you have a heart? The heart of a disciple is the heart of a servant. Meron ka bang puso? Sabi ko nga, buti pang saging may puso. When you hear the word, no heart, you are heartless. What does it mean? When somebody told you, you are nothing but heartless person. Oh, yun yun. Maka-translate. Okay. Pag sinabing wala kang puso, ano, sa, ano ibig sabihin nun? Marinig ko yun. Masama ang ugali. Wala kang puso. You are heartless. You are not banana. Amen? You are heartless. Are you happy if somebody to, uh, tells that to you? You are heartless. You are you are not banana. Walang puso, masamang ugali. As a Christian, we should have heart. And that heart is a servant heart. How could you be a discipler? How could you be a disciple of Jesus if you don't have heart? Amen. Who will go with you in the church if you never know how to give? If the words coming out of your mouth are not encouraging. If your actions are different from what you say. Amen? Are you there with me? Amen. Now, who is our example for this? Let us let go to Philippians chapter 2 verses 5 to 11. Okay, will you say that uh, this phrase, the first one. One, two, three, go. So I, I said, tell it. In your with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, which will be our example, Christ Jesus. In your relationship with your J1 family member, in your relationship with your co-worker, in your relationship with your husband, with your children, with your wife, with your friends, with your barkada, with your katropa peps. <laughs> have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. And what is the mindset of Jesus? Let us continue. Who, being in a very nature God, did not consider equality with God with something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of, what's that word? Servant. Being made in human likeness. Verse 8. And being found in appearance as a man, he, what's that? Humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave his name, him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, the glory to the glory of God the Father, who is the creator of everything. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. The reason why people are inventing lots of things so that their lives would be easier. And those inventions would serve them. Right? But take note. Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ, He is the Creator, but He served His creation. Is that amazing? Amen. Amen. Kahangahanga, imagine mo, the God who created you is the one who died for you and served you. He came on earth just to prove, just to show to his people that this is the way you live. This is the way a disciple should live. 
Amen. You will not imitate me. Huwag mo akong gagayahin. Huwag Jesus. For us to do how to deny ourselves, just imagine, Jesus denied himself. He is God, but he came here as a man. He lived like us. Amen. He denied up to the end, up to the cross. Pwede naman niya sabihin sa mga angels na, pagod na ako, ayaw ko na mag-fasting, kayo na lang. He could say that to the angels. I, I can't uh, be starved for 40 days. Just do fast for me. But he did not do that. He could say, I don't want to be crucified. Okay, just be you. And that credit would be mine. But he did not do that. He suffered a lot. He bore all our wounds, all the punishments. Tinanggap niya yung palo, yung mura, yung dura, ng mga tayo, yung suntok, yung panghahamak. He accepted those things just to show us the example. Can you have the mindset of Christ? And there's one. Yes, we can. Jesus showed to us the way of the cross. He's our best example. He is the creator, but he came here to serve. He is the Lord, our best example. What will you feel if somebody trusts on you? Put his or her trust on you. Are you happy? Pag pinagkatiwalaan ka ba, masaya ka? Of course naman. Hindi ka sabi, ba pinagkatiwalaan? No. You will not be like that. You will be happy. And there are people na pinagkakatiwalaan that God uh, trust them with small things, with greater things, whatever be the things God is entrusted to you, you must be happy. And one of the things that God entrusted to us is to become His representative on earth. Mukha bang representative yung katabi mo? Is, is the person actually looks like an ambassador? Huh? May narinig ako. Hindi to ambassador. Nay. Ambassador. You are representing Jesus. You are representing how a Christian should live. So therefore, huwag kang magreklamo kapag pinagkatiwalaan ka ng Lord. Maging masaya ka. Amen? You should be happy when God entrusted you something. And His legacy was entrusted to all of you us. Amen? Walang ibang magpapatuloy ng sinimulan ni Lord, kundi ikaw. No one will continue that legacy but you. Amen? Shall we give the Lord the best clap of the day? Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, let us be faithful and remain to the Lord. He will establish your life. He will establish your blessing. Amen. You will eat the best and good of the land. In Isaiah 119, it goes like this. Isaiah 119. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. Pwede bang sabi mo sa katabi mo yan? Tell that to the next to you. Again, to the next person at your side. If you and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. Uy, bakit naman yung pastor niyo po ulit-ulit na sinasabi? That's for you. Faith comes from hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best of the land. Amen. What is the best? What is the best? What are the best things you are expecting from the Lord? You will have it. If you are willing to continue Jesus' legacy. If you will obediently do and keep the Lord's commands, are you there? Amen. Who all among you have employer? Amen. Amen. Because you are employed, what are you expecting from your employer? Salary. Salary. Are you expecting to demote you? Or are you expecting promotion and raise of salary? Are you expecting bonuses? 
Yung mga bata, wala yata. Eh, Siyempre, nag-aaral pa kayo. Your parents are your employers. <laughs> are you expecting more allowances? This coming school year? Are you expecting more allowances? Are you expecting a money for shopping spree? So, Lux, King Kanye. Are you expecting that your parents will allow you to go to JA1 Winnipeg Camp? Amen! Yung hindi, hindi makakabunta. Ulitin ko. Are you expecting that your parents will allow you and provide the money for your camp? Amen! Ah, hindi po ako sasama talaga eh. I am telling to these young people, next time your next camp would be in Europe. Amen! Do you believe? Oh, sige na nga, unahin natin sa Korea. Sa South Coast. Oh, sige, North na lang. North Korea. Mag-Europe muna kayo bago kayo kay Kim Jong-Jung. Okay? Do you believe that it could happen to you? Be willing and obedient. Amen. And these parents, do you believe that you will receive the best because you are willing and obedient? Wow. Who has the greatest employer? Who has the greatest employer? Can I see your hands? Who has the greatest employer? And who is that? Jesus wants us to be his servants. We are called to be his servants. And we have the master. We have the employer. Our employer is the best employer in the world, in the universe. Why? He owns everything. Are you there? Amen. We have Father in heaven who is more than enough. The owner of heaven and earth is your employer. Therefore, be a servant. Have a servant heart for you to be a disciple of him. Say to the person to you, next to you, don't waste your time on earth. Serve the Lord. Don't waste your time in Facebooking. <laughs> Don't waste your time in playing counter... Oh, do man on counter strike. Ano na ngayon? Fortnite! I just heard that. I don't know what's that. Okay? Don't waste your time in doing some things that are not profitable. Are you going to invest your time for nothing? Invest your time for eternity, for the things that you will get investment. Amen? And if you do that, if you spend your time with the right employer, the best employer in the universe, he will bless you more than you could expect and imagine. No eyes has heard and no, no eyes, no ear has heard and no eyes has seen. Amen. Again, don't waste your time on earth. In Tagalog, huwag mong aksayahin ang buhay mo sa lupang earth. Kung ayaw mo, di sa Jupiter ka pumunta. Now, I have only few things. How to be a servant of God. How to be a real disciple of the Lord. First, do this command. What's that command? Go and make disciples. It was given in Matthew 28, verses 18 to 20. Amen. In Mark chapter 8, verse 36, the Bible says, For what will it a profit a man to gain the whole world and loses his own soul? Anong mapapala ng tao na mabuha niya yung buong mundo, pero mawala ang kanyang kaluluwa. Bill Gates, or uh, Steve Jobs, he was rich, right? But he did not get or bring his wealth in the grave. Amen. You know what? Who, uh, those who are students, who were students, maybe you heard about King Charlemagne. King Charlemagne's tomb was opened 180 years after his death. And inside that tomb, they found the skeletal remains of the kings still sitting on the, seated on the throne, the crown still resting upon his skull, 
and there's a copy of the Gospels lying in his lap with his bony finger resting on this text. But in what's this text? Mark 8, 36. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world yet perfect his souls? Wag mong aksayahin ang buhay mo sa mundo nito. Don't waste your life for nothing. Don't spend your short life for nothing. Ang ikli-ikli po ng buhay natin sa mundo nito. Our life on earth is very short. We're just like a mist. We're just like a vapor. We're just like shadow. We're just flowers quickly fading. Amen? Go and make disciples. Jesus said to be his disciple, we need to deny ourselves, right? In Mark 8, 34, it says, When he called the people to himself with his disciples also, he said to them, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself. And to take up your cross, it means you are going to voluntarily following Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. Walang pilitan sa pagiging Christian. Hindi ka pipilitin. I will not force you to be born again Christian. The Lord will not force you. You must be willingly. You do it willingly and obediently. It should be your choice. Amen. It means that you have made the choice that you are going to do His will no matter what others may say. Hindi ibig sabihin, you are a Christian, you're going to carry the cross and deny yourself, you're going to wear a cross as a pendant. My brothers and my sisters, when we say, deny yourself, take up your cross, it means like this, as a disciple of Jesus Christ, by going and making disciples is this, you are going to live mainly for one audience alone. And who is that audience? Jesus. Wala akong pakialam kung anong sasabihin ng kaklase ko, ng kabarkada ko, ng kaibigan ko, kapagilya ko. I don't care about what he will say. I will care about what Jesus will say at the end of my life. I want to hear this word. Welcome, my good and faithful servant. Who wants to hear that message from the Lord? Or do you want to say, I don't know you. Who are you? Amen. We don't want that. Our life on earth, being a youth is very short. Youth, you're just starting from that age. If you have the family, you will not enjoy it full days anymore. Don't waste your time. Amen. The cross Jesus calls us to take up is that of obeying Him now, not tomorrow. Obey Jesus now. Though it may bring suffering, maybe it brings ridicule, it may bring problems or death. But you know what? Even you experience that in the discipleship road, my brothers and sisters, be a disciple of Jesus. Keep going and making disciples. Keep winning souls for Jesus. Your soul is too important as the soul of others are important. Win souls. Amen? Huwag kang papayag na wala kang madadala kay Jesus. Huwag kang papayag. Don't let that, that day will pass that you did not say that Jesus loves them. I'll have a story for you. This just happens last week. I and Charis always go to YMCA. And my son, Jairus, while we are, after he prayed, before he go to bed, he said this. He asked, Daddy, you know what? He, 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 he told me about a certain boy. You know what? What's that? You know what? My class, my, one of the boy in that, in what I'm saying, said that God is fake. That God's going to stop me. I saw his expressions. He was really, really burdened that time. And some people, those other kids said, there's no God. I feel the burden with him. I said, ignore them. But tell them that God loves them. That God is real and he's not dead. And he said, yes, daddy, I will do it. Do you have that courage like that boy? Hello. Hello. 
Can you tell that to your classmates, to your friends, to your co-workers that God is real? In Canada, there are lots of atheists, they say. But those atheists, they are just in denial. Because the truth is inside the heart of a man, there is a longing of a God who can fulfill their desires. Win, go, and make disciples. Amen? You must deny yourself. The Christian life is a life that Christ lives in us daily. If you receive Jesus Christ as the Lord and your Savior, and then therefore, my brothers and my sister, you must live for Christ. The call of Jesus is to follow Him, not tomorrow, but daily. Araw-araw kang susunod kay Jesus. You will follow Jesus daily. Amen? How do I follow Jesus daily in regular life? To follow Jesus, it means it means Jesus is the Lord of your life. Did you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord? If you do, and who is the boss of your life? Jesus. In your workplace, you are following your boss. How about this time? You have the boss. You have the Lord who promised you the best. Follow Him daily. Amen? How you follow? Keep reading His instructions, the Bible. The Bible is the Word of God. It gives you peace, it gives you direction, it gives you hope, it gives you encouragement. In John 15, 7, so it goes like this, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. And that is for my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Jesus said, let his words remain in you and your word, and you remain in his word, and so that there will be proof that you will be his disciples. If you don't have the word of God in your heart, and if you're not bearing fruit, then you are not God's disciples. What is your mission in life? My mission in life is to have kids and then raise them and then I will be dead. Is that your mission? You guys here are blessed in Canada. You have a better mission. Mission in your life is for you to do the job. And what is your job? Go, win souls, and make disciples. You want blessing? Do what your boss, do what our boss wants us to do, and that is to win souls. Mag-akay ka ng maraming kaluluwa. Mag-invite ka ng marami. Invite more people. Tell them, come, join us. Hindi yung ikaw pang iinvitahan, itagal mo ng member ng church. Amen? Ten years na po ako nga din. Pinafollow up pa rin ako. Hindi na. You should be the one to win more souls. Are you there with me? Yeah. Everywhere you go, Jesus wants you to shine His light through you. You are His disciples. Hindi lang, si, hindi lang liwanag. Jesus wants His disciples shine. Amen? Arise, shine! Who knows Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods was beginning to learn the, to play golf. He said like this, I really don't know where the ball is going except forward and far. But over the years, he learned to work on his game. And now he has much greater control over his shots. You know what? As Tiger Woods, you need to be like that. He's still not perfect. I know that. We cannot perfect this, being disciple of the Lord. But as we continue... As in the lifelong process, I'm going to obey, willingly obey and do what the Lord commands and do His purpose. We will be perfect. When are we going to start? Today. Begin with a willing heart. You may seem far from perfect, but keep following your Master. What does it mean to be a disciple of Jesus Christ is this. It means you're going to put Jesus Christ first in your life and follow Him completely. Sino ang Diyo sa buhay mo? Sino ang una sa buhay mo? Who is the first in your life? Who is the topmost priority of your life? Not your career, not your family. It should be Jesus. Not money. Because money follows if you do what Jesus said. One soul saved, it means many sins got removed. The Bible says, one soul who repented and accepted Jesus Christ, the heaven rejoiced. So just, just imagine if you win souls next month and uh, next Sunday, if you invited another person, another soul, 
who will sit on this chair, who will know the Lord, the heaven will rejoice. And because you did that job, do you think the Lord will not reward you? He will. He will reward you. There is a crown for the soul winners. Who wants that crown? Soul wins. Win souls. Even there is trial. Always meditate the word of God so that you will be prosperous. What's the second thing? Be filled with the Spirit of God. How? In Ephesians 5, 18 to 21, it goes like this. Don't be drunk with wine because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. In Tagalog, goes like this. Huwag kayong maglalasing sapagat sisirain lamang yan ang inyong buhay. Sa halip, ay dapat kayong mapuspos ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Always ask God. Always worship the Lord. And how are you going to be filled? If you are not eating, what will you feel? Hungry, of course. You will be weak. Don't let your spirit be weak. Eat the Word of God. Meditate the Word of God. Listen to the word of God because the word of God is the bread of life. Amen. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ask Him to fill you always. How many times you eat? You ask the person next to you, how many times you eat for a day? How many eat? Two times a day. Three, four, five. Every two hours. Every two hours. <laughs> So if your physical body is being filled, let your spirit be filled. And how will you be filled? Meditate, read the word of God. Listen, take more word of the Lord. That's why we have devotion every morning, 5 o'clock. If you are not morning person, we have devotion at night time. If you feel that you are youth, there is youth devotion at 10 o'clock. They are really youth because they have 10. Amen. We have Bible studies. We have life group. Attend. Join them. Amen. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. In the view of a beautiful house, offer your house to be used for God's glory. Okay lang di kayo magluto. Basta masarap. <laughs> Amen. Just invite us. Just host for the gathering if you want to. Okay. Now the third thing is Wait patiently on Jesus. As a servant of the Lord, for you to have a servant heart, wait patiently on Him. In Psalm 27 verse 14, it goes like this. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. In Psalm 27 verse 7, it goes, Be still before the Lord. Sino yung mga hinihintay dito? Sabi ni Lord sa'yo, Be still before the Lord, and wait that's why true love, Wait. youth, true love. yung mga single, true love, true love. True love waits. Hindi din o dumali. Wait upon the Lord. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. You, you will not distraction of the Lord if you wait. The Lord said, wait. And the last one is this. Rest. In his promises. How many of you here are promises of God? Amen. The Lord promised to supply our needs. The Lord promised to heal our sicknesses and diseases. The Lord promised that we will not be the tail, or, but we will be head. It means, hindi tayo tagasunod lang. Tayo naman magiging boss. Amen. Sinaniwala, hindi siya lagi subordinate. Magiging siyang boss. Amen. Kaya sa klase, sa mga estudyante, dapat hindi kayo yung Nasa rank 100. Ilan kayo? 101 po. Amen? You should be at the top. You should be at the honor roll. Like, kung hindi kayo magaling sa honor roll, at least egg, egg roll. Magaling kayo sa physical activities or, uh, what's that? Ex, ex, not, masasabi ko, extraterrestrial eh. Extracurricular. Dapat magaling kayo doon. Amen? At least you are excelling into something. Yes, Pastor, I'm excellent. I'm level 1,000 in Fortnite. 
<laughs> May pera ba doon? <laughs> Rest in God's promises. Paano mo malalaman ang mga pangako ng Diyos if you're not meditating the Word of God? How will you know the promises of God if you're not meditating the Word of God? There are 10,000 more of God's promises. That's why always put God in remembrance. Ipaalala mo sa Diyos ang kanyang mga pangako sa'yo. You will be able to remind God about His promises if you know how to meditate His Word as a servant of God. Amen. Are you there with me? To end this, shall we recite Psalms 23? One, two, three, go. The Lord. Let's go back at the first verse. The Lord, it goes that the Lord is my boss, I shall not want. The Lord is my master, I shall not want. Kapag susundin mo sa Lord willingly and obediently, if you desire to have a heart of a servant, wala kang kailangan na hindi bibigay ng Diyos. Hindi ka pagkukulang ng Lord, you will not in want. He makes you lie down in green pastures. Green, it means prosperity, abundance. He leads me beside still waters. If you are in trouble, if you are on the bridge of under troubled water, God will lead you in a still water. He will restore your soul. He will lead you in the path of righteousness. Alam mo kung bakit ibinabalik-balik ka ng Lord? Do you know why God's leading you into a highway of righteousness? Even you are committing mistakes again and again? Because God wants you to enjoy this. He wants His name be glorified in your life. E pasaway po talaga yan. Hindi. Mabiyaya ang Diyos. God will lead Him in the path of righteousness. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Sino takot sa kamatayan? Are you afraid of death? Who are ready to die? Not me. Yes, I'm ready, but not now. <laughs> Amen. But even though we walk to the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. Why? Our God, our Master, our Lord Jesus Christ, whom we are representing, are with us. His rod, His word, His staff, they comfort us. That's why I read the word. It will comfort you. Don't read the post in Facebook. You will not be comforted. Unless you mapino post ko sa kanyang mga inspiring messages. But don't post. But if someone said, na post yung kapatid mo, some, your friend post is like this. Matram yung post na. Tapos there is an answer, there is a comment. Anyare? Kasi na, anyare te? Kasi we like, then another message. Push mo lang yung te. Kaya, kaya mo tignan. Pray ka lang te. Sarap mo sabihin. Instead of saying, I will pray for you. Pray ka lang te. How can you pray? Well, how can she pray? If she's already mad. Amen. But if you, if you are inspired, if you have the devotion with the Lord, you share the message. The Lord said, I will be with you wherever you go. Other will comment. Amen. Amen. But some people, especially Facebook, you are always liking everything. Even our, the, the, the posts are not good, like. Right? If you're a Facebook man and a Facebook woman, open up your Bible, read it. If you're not inspired, share it. Amen? Hindi mo sinishare yung nabuntun, kung ano nang fake rice, fake news. Amen. Come on! Dio, to simple to pala yung kasunod. How you watch that? Don't share that anymore. You're stealing the message of fear. Praise God. Okay, let's go itagawa sa tahimik na, hindi sa maalong lugar, pinapanumbalik ang akin, hindi ka pinangihina ng Diyos, at pinapatubayan niya sa tamang daan upang aking parangalan 
Kaya ka dinadala sa ng Diyos sa mabuting daan. Amen? Dumaan man ako sa madilim na libis ng kamatayan, wala ako sabi sa katabi mo, hindi na ako matatakotin ngayon. Bakit? Pagkat ikaw ay aking kaagapan. Amen? Ang tungkod mo, aking gabay. Sinong gusto ng pamalo? Si Ron, si Ren, Ren, gusto ng pamalo. Sabi ng nari, sige, paluin ka. Don't let this pamalo palo palo you. Or else you will not be happy. Don't let this rotten stuff of the Lord be used for you to be disciplined. Don't wait that time. As long as the rod and stuff the Lord of the Lord used to guide and protect you. And there's verse 5. Ipinagahanda mo ako ng salusalo. Nakikita ng kalaban ko. Sa aking ulo, langis ay binubuhos. That's anointing. Sa aking saro, pagpapalay. Who wants lubos-lubos na pagpapala? Who wants overflow blessing? Be a servant of the Lord. Kabutihan, pag-ibig mo sa akin, di magkukulang siyang makakasama ko habang ako'y nabubuhay. At magpakilanman sa bahay ni Yahweh na pananahan. Mga kapatid, at to end this, kung mabuti ang amo mo, mananatili ka. Diba? Amen. Mabuti ba si Lord? Amen. If your employer is good, are you going to stay? Yes. Of course. Is the Lord good? Amen. Is the Lord great? Yes. Stay in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Stay serving the Lord. God sees what you are doing. God knows what you are doing. Be a good servant. God always be there to be with you. Huwag kang manghina o magsawang maglingkod kay Lord. Amen. Keep serving the Lord. And this is the last verse I will tell you. In John 9, 4, sabihin mo yung sa katabi mo, I must do the works of Him who sent me while it is a day. Night is coming when no one can work. Don't wait that night. Here in Fort Park, we can work at night time. I worked night shift for six months. It's not easy. Kailangan gawin natin, in, in, in Tagalog, ga, kailangan gawin natin ang mga pinagagawa na nagsugo sa akin. Sino nagsugo sa atin? The Lord. Habang with His Habang Habang may araw pa gawin na. Habang may araw pa maglingkod na kay Lord. As long it is a day serve the Lord. As long as you have time serve the Lord. Gawin na ang pinatatrabaho ng Lord. Do what the Lord wants you to do. Maglingkod na sa Lord habang may panahon. Learn to serve God while it's still a day. Who are we not to serve the Lord? Sino yung tatanggi sa Lord? Karapat dapat siyang paglingkuran. He is the one who created us. Love the Lord. Please. I say the word please to encourage you to serve the Lord. Young people, remember the Lord, the Creator in the days of your youth. You are also youth. Remember the Lord. Amen? His life was given for you. Your life was redeemed by the Lord. There is only one shot we have on earth. We have only one life. Use it for God's glory. Use it for God's service. Are you going to win souls and make disciples? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag mong ipagpabukas ang paglilingkod kay Lord. Don't wait for tomorrow because that tomorrow might not come to you. When is the right time to serve the Lord? Now. Now, may call the music team, please. Isa pa, mga kapatid. Huwag mong bibiruin ang Lord. Be serious. Be true in your service. 
in the Lord. Shall we sing the song that we did? Can you project Here I Am? This is a favorite song of Bishop. And I think that's my favorite now. The Bible says, Here I am. Who are now willing to come before the Lord and be His service? Be a servant. Sino yung willing magpagamit sa Lord mula ngayon? Sino yung gusto ng servant heart? Sino yung mula ngayon magwiwin ng soul and make disciples? Shall we stand? Kayo mag -alala. We have food after this. We have birthday rush. And we still have more time. We are up to 2 o'clock here. How many of you loves the Lord? How many of you here want to say thank you for what He has done in your life? Before we can sing this song, will you say this prayer with all your heart? Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for what you have done for me. I thank you for creating me. This time, Lord, I am giving my life to you. I am taking you in my life as my Lord and my Savior. Starting today, you will be the boss, the boss, the master of my life. Take full control, O Lord. And starting today, I will serve you. I will follow you. I will do your will obediently and willingly for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we join the music team in worshiping the Lord? Here 
Lord. Lord, use me for that person, for this group of people. Use me as a soul winner. Use me. Use me. Use me. Use my life. Use my talents, God, to reach them so that they will know you and they will know that they love you. Lord, use me. Use me. Use me. Sino yung ready na magdadala ng bagong soul next week? Mag-invite na mag-invite para sa Panginoon. Sino dito yung magpapakita at magdidesisyon na maging mabuting anak, maging mabuting kaibigan, mabuting kapatid. Sino dito yung magmagdidesisyon na wala ngayon? He will live or she will live with, with forgiveness in his or her heart. With humbleness, with kindness, with my. Those who are ready for the last time, can you sing the song for the Lord? Cause my life is yours. Sabi mo, cause my life. 
Whatever be the desires of their hearts, whatever be the prayers of their hearts, maybe for, for personal, for their loved ones, sa kanilang karelasyon, sa kanilang kaibigan, to those friends, to those work, worker, co-workers, to their company, whatever be the prayers of their hearts, Father. The Bible says, you said in Isaiah 119, if they are willing and obedient, they will get the best of the land. Panginoon, I pray, this is the last uh, Sunday of uh, July and I trust that month of uh, August enters let the best that they did not receive from this month be received by them in Jesus name I thank you so much they will be more in love to you all of us will be a servant of you a disciple who will win more souls for you be blessed our father in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody say, Amen. God bless you, please. Please be seated. So after this, um, after the giving and the victory proclamation, if you still have time, I want you to meet your life group members, please. All the men, all the youth, meet the life group. So all the youth will be together with Ati. Sige po, while we are preparing our envelope, I would like to add the the announcement. Um, after the service, we have the. Um, are we having our birthday bash today? We're having our birthday bash today at uh, Pastor Regina's house, 109 Swanson Crescent. Um, I know some of you are not mentioned on the uh, birthday bash announcement. Kagaya ni Kayla, kasali po siya sa birthday bash. And for those who aren't mentioned, let's all go to 109 Swanson Crescent, like Crescent, and uh, let's uh, celebrate with them. Um, what else? Our uh, local camp is upcoming on the 20, 24 to 26 Elk Island National Park. Let me know if you're bringing an RV, a camper, or anything that's not tent. Because if we are not bringing t uh, RV or um, campers, they will put us in a better place, which is more grassy, uh, better ground. Because I think they're doing a renovation on the group use. Kaya, let me know ahead of time para ma-inform natin sila. And um, uh, for those who wanted to rent a cabin, you better start uh, booking it now because um, it's it's a peak season, June, July, August. So suggest nila start booking your cabin if you want to book your cabin. Um, I think that's it for now. Everything is on our aflame. Napasahin na lang po natin. And we have a meeting, leaders leaders meeting after our um, after our um, uh, birthday bash. So sabi sino po ang who are who wants to eat the best of the land? Amen. Amen. The message today said, the Lord is our master or shepherd or employer. We will not lack of any good things. And the message said, do not put off till tomorrow if you want to serve now. Today is the time, Sister Valine. Um, and being a servant, we have to do his will. And one of this is being obedient to do his will and one of his will is to give our tithes and offering. This is like paying taxes. Pay the tax, give to Caesar what it belongs to Caesar, give it to our to Revenue Canada, what belongs to Revenue Canada, but let us give our tithes and offering to the Lord, for this is due to him. And this will glorify his name, and it will delight his name, and it, his promise, if we delight ourselves, pag natuwa ang Lord sa atin, ano ang promise niya? He will give the desires with S of our heart. As a servant, that we will not beg, we will be the head and not the tail. As long as we do His will. So, sino po ang may mga envelope tonight? Today, let us all raise up to heaven and let us pray. Heavenly Father, indeed, you are the best master, the best servant, the best um, employer, oh God, that we could ever ask for. 
And today, O oh God, as we raise our tithes and offering, we believe, O oh God, that we delighted ourselves unto you, and you will give the desires of our heart. And even, O oh God, the desires of our heart to serve you, Lord, um, rekindle it, Panginoon, the fire that we first uh, received from you. Let the message today, O oh God, ignite the fire one more time, O oh God, that we will be, we will um, uh, devote ourselves, O oh God, to be a servant. Lahat po ng aming tanim today, everything that we uh, sow, O oh God, today in our tithes and offering, we believe that you will return unto us thousand folds, O oh God. Our, our needing though and our baskets will overflow as you have promised. We will be the lender of this nation and not the debtor. We'll be the head and not the tail. And we will eat the best of the land. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, we give you praise, we give you honor in our tithes and offering. Amen.
right now you are moving and we believe that what we have committed today, Lord God, it will come true. You will see it through, Lord God, because you are faithful. You are so, so good, oh God. Thank you for your word. May we keep it in our hearts and apply it in our everyday lives, oh God. And Lord, the covenant, the commitment that we made today, may it never, ever be broken. May it only grow stronger with time, oh Lord. Protect us with your most precious blood, Jesus. We just thank you for your everlasting victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shall we meet? Raise your hands toward heaven. Father, this time we are receiving the love of you that endures forever, your unconditional love. Receive the blessings, the unstoppable, overflowing, full tank blessing of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even the empowerment and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. For the rest of the week, we will have all of them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Sakit lang po, um, can I call Sister Carol? She will be flying to, of course, sasakay siya ng aeroplano. Hindi po siya magbabahid ng mantika. Okay, siya po yung uwi ng Pilipinas. Sino pa bang may pauwi dito? Ayan. Okay, shall we pray for her, blood, for the protection of the Lord to her? Father, thank you for Sister Carol who will be traveling to the Philippines. Father, I pray that let that trouble be fruitful. Lord, let uh, her purpose, oh God, ay maganap sa kanyang buhay, sa kanyang pagpunta. And we thank you, Father, that you will cover her with the most precious blood. And even the blessings will come and overtake her. Mauuna na yung blessings sa Pilipinas, Panginoon. Hindi siya mag-aalala financially o ano pa man, bagos isisettle mo ang lahat, Panginoon. Lord, sabi mo nga, you are the master, you are the servant, God is shepherd, and you will bless her. The brother that, uh, but in one family will be blessed, mula sa kanyang ama, Panginoon. Ama sa kanyang mga magulang, sa kanyang mga kapatid, sa mga pamangkin, sa mga mag-anak, gagamit niyo siya, dalo yan ang pagpapalak, Panginoon. Lord, ibabalik mo siya ng, kung paano mo siya ingatan ng matinding protection, Panginoon, ibabalik mo siya dito ng mas masaya, mas malusog, at mas pinagpala. At Lord, Salamat po. Ang salat na kaisa, blessings be upon them. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay. God bless you. Uh, men's, we are having, having uh, men's life group tomorrow, 7 o'clock, sa bahay po ni Brother Richilio. Bukas, magkita-kita tayo, life group ng mga kalalakihan. And then, yung mga kababaihan naman, na leaders, you have life group with Pastor Rejo, please, this coming um, Thursday. Then Pastor Jing and Winnipeg people will come here on June, August 2nd. So, yung mga gustong matutong mag-tugtog, uh, ito pala si Sister Delilah Pakihiyano. Sorry, I uh, forgot. Sa taas po sa ating ushering, meron po doong listahan ng um, uh, guitar, bass guitar, and drums. Kung sino po ang gustong matuto, from Thursday to Wednesday po sila, this coming Thursday, tapos the following Wednesday, ay uh, nandito po ang mga tagawin ni Peg. So if you are, kahit hindi po kayo youth, ipopost po natin sa Facebook yung schedule kasi hindi ko pa na-finalize kung ano oras sila darating. But it's Thursday to Wednesday, this Thursday to Wednesday, coming Wednesday. Andun po sa taas yung listahan, just list down your name, kung ano po gusto yun yung i-workshop. So guitar, bass guitar, and drums po. Ah, uh, we will mamaya magbi-meeting pang leaders tatanong po, they agree namin kung ano magkano ang registration. Ano? Okay, we still have time for the live group. Pwedeng mag-live group muna kayo kahit saglit. So, at uh, yung mauuna na diretso na po tayo sa bahay ni na Brother June para sa ating birthday bash. Sa labas tayo, ha? Sa labas. Ah, uh, Yung mga pupunta doon, ay pumunta kayo, napakarami nating pagsasalusaluhan. Okay, you can have live group this time if you, still, if you have your live group here. Okay, God bless you and see you mamaya sa bahay. Tulong.